لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك وأتم الحج والعمرة لله and complete the Hajj and Umrah for Allah. Assalamu alaikum daily reminder. This is your brother Ali Jamal. Allah SWT says in the Quran, وَاتِمُّ الْحَجَّ وَالْعُمْرَةَ لِلَّهِ And complete the Hajj and Umrah for the sake of Allah. A lot of people go for Umrah at this time of the year. And it's a phenomenal thing to do. It's a great trip to make. I wanted to talk about a few things that we can do on this trip, on the Umrah trip, that will make the trip so much better. The Umrah, the rites of Umrah, the rituals of Umrah, generally take about a couple of hours at most to complete. And, uh, you know, just speaking, on a uh, just very on an average terms a person goes to Umrah for about a week or two weeks the trip is generally about a week or two weeks and the Umrah itself the rites of Umrah take only a couple of hours so what is it that a person should do in all the other time that they have there to maximize this trip to really get the most out of it I'm gonna make some recommendations inshallah even if you're not going for Umrah right now this inshallah could serve as a incentive to start planning your Umrah trip and even if you know you don't have any plans of going for Umrah in the near future the reminder that you can get out of this inshallah is still going to benefit you the first thing I recommend and this is the most important thing is that don't miss a single prayer in the Haram when we go to make Umrah after we've done our Umrah we have about a week or two weeks left the task, the, the thing to make this trip extremely fruitful, the most important thing to make this trip extremely fruitful is to make sure you don't even miss a single prayer in the Haram. Why is this so important? Let's think, think of the trip, the Umrah trip as a gold mine, as having access to a gold mine for a week or two weeks. If you had access to a gold mine, what is it that you would do? You would try to maximize the amount of gold you can take out of it. The Umrah trip, we have access to two gold mines, the Haram in Mecca and the Haram in Medina. Why are these two masajid, why am I calling them gold mines? Because the Prophet said, Salatun fi masjid hadha, that a prayer in this masjid of mine, he's referring to the Haram in Medina, is better than a thousand prayers that's prayed anywhere else. A thousand prayers prayed anywhere else, illa al masjid al haram, except the Masjid al-Haram that's in Mecca. وَصَلَاةٌ فِي الْمَسْجِدِ الْحَرَامِ أَفْضَلُ مِنْ مِئَةِ صَلَاةٍ أو أَفْضَلُ مِنْ مِئَةِ أَلْفِ صَلَاةٍ That the prayer that's prayed in Al-Masjid al-Haram is better than a hundred thousand prayers. You know, a normal prayer will get you reward. Our prayer in the Masjid of the Prophet will get you a thousand times that reward. SubhanAllah. And the prayer in the Mac in the Haram of Makkah, that will give you a hundred thousand times more reward. That's why these two places are gold mines. When it comes to our Akhirah, the divine reward that we get, this is why the most important thing that we can do to make the most out of our trip is to not miss even a single prayer in these passages. This is, by the way, on top of the fact that a prayer in congregation in the Masjid is 27 times better than a prayer that's done by individually by a person so subhanallah the rewards are so magnified we have to take advantage of this for as long as we're there inshallah the series will continue in the next video jazakumullah khairan assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh